Hi guys and welcome to another daily vlog. If you're watching this on Thursday then it means I have been unsuccessful at getting my ASOS haul off the memory card after I accidentally deleted it. So um, yeah, very very annoyed with myself about that. But if you're watching this on Saturday and you've seen the ASOS haul then yay. So today I'm gonna head into town. I've got lots of meetings and I've got some really really nice events. I'm actually um, well, <laughs> my outfit is based on the fact that I'm going to be eating loads today. I've got a breakfast meeting, lunch meeting, afternoon tea meeting, and then dinner with Tom Ford at the Arts Club. So my dress is a tactical outfit choice that so I have room for all the food that is going to be eaten today. I'll show you my outfit for the day before I leave. Um, yeah, so dress is from French Connection. I actually kind of forgot that I had this, but I ironed it and it still looks kind of creased, but I still really like it. Got this cute little frilly lace fit at the bottom, and then shoes, <laughs> one of Dexter's toys. Shoes are actually from Next, but the brand is Dune, and you guys have seen these loads of times before. Also wearing my Miu Miu sunglasses, which I'm just absolutely in love with. So yeah, heading out into town now. Eyebrow update. It's about 10 days now since I had them done. All the um, all the scabs of the actual microblading came off. So now my brows are really light, but the actual colour from the microblading is going to come through a little bit more. So this is the lightest they're going to be and they're going to get a little bit darker from now on. I don't really know how it works, but I'll keep updating you. Anyway, I am heading to the Riding House Cafe for breakfast now, so let's go. So breakfast meeting with Origins is done. I actually went for a really unhealthy breakfast, which I already regret. I've had hash brown potatoes and chorizo. Definitely not the wisest decision to start the day. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head to Oxford Street now and do a little bit of shopping. Sorry, I cut that a bit short because there were some people giving me some very strange looks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna head to Oxford Street and do a little bit of shopping now because I've got two hours until my next meeting. I did actually spot some beautiful boots in the window of Miss Selfridge, so that's gonna be my first port of call. Circus, keeping my voice down because it's quite quiet in here. Um, but I'm just trying on some bits and bobs. This is the first outfit. I really like this top. It's got like this unusual kind of hole on the sleeves. It's really lovely light fabric and long almost pirate kind of finish on the sleeves. And then these blush pink culottes. Again, really, really like these. These are from the petite section. Look quite nice with these shoes as well. Not 100% sure if I'd wear the two together, but yeah, big fan of these two pieces. Then another pair of culottes, these are a darker pink if you compare the two. Not that dissimilar, but slightly duskier. They're a bit shorter as well, I think I actually prefer the length of these ones. I'm not going to get two, so I think I'm going to go with the first pair. And finally, this rather unusual pair of sparkly trousers. I'm not sure if they're that flattering, but they're so different. I really like this material. Incredibly comfy, because they are so stretchy. <laughs> Look at that. Um, but yeah, really like these. And I don't think they're that expensive either. Yeah, 32 pounds, so I think they're pretty good value as well. And potentially these might go with my new boots that you saw from Miss Selfridge, maybe with a dark top in autumn. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna get the top, the trousers, and these culottes and then the last thing I've got to try is this coat so let's give this a go so it actually turns out that this jacket is a dress so it's attached there probably wouldn't wear this as a dress so I'm not gonna bother trying it on so just gonna buy these three pieces successful trip to Topshop <laughs> in 
Zara. I haven't got that much to try on, so I'm not going to bother going into the fitting rooms. But I've just found this little mirror. What do you guys think of this bag? It's £30. I think it's really unusual. I'm just not sure if I need it. Then I've also grabbed this top. I think it looks quite Gucci-ish, and especially with this bag. And this little clasp is definitely inspired by the Gucci bags. And then I also picked up this, which I just think will be really practical for like an airport bag. And I think it looks a lot more expensive than its 30 pound price tag. So I think I'm gonna get the pink bag, the blue bag, and the top. To be honest, I haven't been in Zara in so long because I find the customer service here really bad. Um, but yeah, while on Oxford Street, I thought I might as well pick up a few new pieces. Just spoiling myself a little bit today. <laughs> is at the Bliss Spa, as I mentioned earlier, getting a Peggy Colada, which is going to be really good fun and my feet definitely need it. Quite funny being back in South Kent because I used to work at the Imperial College, so I feel like I've come back to my old nesting ground. Just realised the expression is the old stomping ground, not the old nesting ground. <laughs> Thank you. 
lovely pedicure at Bliss. I can't believe I've never been to that spa. I was saying to the girls, I literally walked past there every day when I worked at Imperial College, but I don't think it ever really sunk in that the Bliss products obviously come from the Bliss spa, but such a nice place. Um, and my feet are seriously ticklish. Literally, I ended up like almost kicking the lovely lady who was doing my feet a million times. Um, but yeah, they're looking fab now. If you're very observant, you might notice I've changed outfit. I put on that first outfit that I tried on in Topshop just because I felt like that dress, I've been wearing it all day and it was getting really creased as well, which wasn't a good look. So um, yeah, I've come to Carlston Terrace now. I've never been here before, um, but Piccadilly Circus is literally just up there. And I'm here for a Roger and Galley event. I'm actually too early, so I might go to the bathroom and redo my makeup because I'm feeling a little bit glowy um, until the event actually starts. And then I can only hang around for about half an hour because then it's time to go to the arts club for dinner with Tom Ford. So a very good evening of events. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is and I'm finally home. It's been such a long day. I think I left the house at like eight o'clock this morning. So really, really long day, um, but such a fun one. The Tom Ford dinner was amazing. And yeah, just the most beautiful place. I've never been to the arts club before and it was just stunning, incredible food, amazing product launch. The holiday collection is beautiful. I knew it would be. Tom Ford just can't do a thing wrong when it comes to beauty launches. and. Just those girls put on the best events. So if you guys are watching, it was incredible and thank you so much for having us. And also the company was fantastic. All of my favorite girls were there. Um, so yeah, really, really good evening. I thought I'd just quickly show you what was um, in my little goodie bag because it was just absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you. So as you saw in the vlog clips, the whole room was just full of these beautiful flowers. It's basically a white hydrangea with some cream roses in there. And then there's also, oh, and they even gave the vases, so it's just beautiful. And then also this little box, little gold box wrapped up in a Tom Ford bow. So let's just see what's inside. So here we have the Tom Ford Black Orchid Eau de Parfum. I was actually wearing Tom Ford Noir this morning, um, but I'm so intrigued to try this. Look how beautiful that bottle is. Contrast against the flowers is just stunning. So generous. So girls, thank you so much. I cannot wait to wear this. So another busy and really fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me. Um, a little bit different for haul week, but I just tried now and I cannot get the ASOS haul back from my memory card. So oh, I'm so annoyed. There were so many nice things in it as well. Um, and I'm just too pissed off that I lost it to refilm it so I'm really sorry um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this kind of like live shopping haul vlog and um yeah I'm gonna get to bed now I'm gonna edit this first and then I'm gonna go to bed and yeah hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you tomorrow for one more haul for fashion mumbler haul week good night <laughs>